All right, so first up is going to be a 2004 D Met Mark. It is the Texas State Quarter that was struck on an elliptical planchet. So you see the design around the rim of the coin being cut off there as a result of that elliptical planchet there. So this coin here sold for over $60. Nothing too crazy, but still 60 bucks. Now here is a 2004 D Mint Mark. This is the Wisconsin State Quarter. And you see that there right by the date that crack in the planchet? Well, this is actually a defective planchet. So the coin design was struck here on a 5% defective planchet. Now because of that, this coin sold for around $90. You know, it's graded at an AU55. Had it been a mint state grade, it probably would have sold for much more money. Now for this next coin, we see here the Iowa State Quarter here on the reverse of the coin looks pretty normal, but here on the front, we got that inner copper layer core and it's because it's missing the outer clad layer. So you can look for this on other quarters as well, not just this specific quarter. Uh, it is the D mint mark and it only weighs 4.76 grams as a result. These quarters are typically going to weigh around 5.67 grams. Uh, this coin here sold for around $165. Now kind of the same thing here, however we see that the front design has the client layer, but the reverse of this Texas State Quarter is missing that client layer. So it could be on the obverse or the reverse of the coin missing the client layer. In this case, it's the reverse and the coin sold for over $360. Of course, these coin prices will vary, you know, based on when you sell it, where you sell it, all that good stuff. The population of certain grades of coins and things of that nature. Now, here is a 2004 D Met Mark Wisconsin State Quarter that was struck 12% off center. Now, again, you can look for off centers on all kinds of different coins, not just state quarters if you guys are new to coin collecting. This quarter sold for around $380. Moving on to one of my favorites of this video, the 2004 D Mint Mark Michigan State Quarter. We see that the reverse here looks perfectly normal, just like any other state quarter. However, here on the obverse, as we zoom in there on Washington's neck, you will see that the coin was struck through a retained wire. So that wire is actually in there in the quarter, as we see here in the image displayed. Now, because of that, this coin sold for over $330. That is a genuine mint error there. Next up is three quarters. All right, so we're gonna come back to this picture. These are all graded at a mint state 66. However, here is why they sold for over $425. Now we see in this image here, this is a normal Wisconsin, the reverse of a normal Wisconsin state quarter. We see that it does not have the extra leaf. However, here on this image, we see that there is an extra leaf. So we have two different extra leaves. Here on the left, we have the extra low leaf. Here on the right, we have the extra high leaf. You wanna look for that extra leaf. If we go back to this image, this is the one without the leaf. So it doesn't have that. Now that's the normal one. So we wanna look for the extra low or the extra high leaf. Now if we go back to those three coins, we see that they all sold together. So we have a high leaf, a low leaf, and a regular uh, Wisconsin State Quarter without that extra leaf. They all three, like I said, grade Mint State 66, sold for over $425. Now here is one quarter that has the extra low leaf sold on eBay for $290. So of course it will depend on the condition or the grade of the coin. Uh, you know, of course we'll have an impact on its value of what it would actually sell for. So keep that in mind. Always be on the lookout for those extra high and low leafs. Now here is a Florida State Quarter. Now this coin was struck on a five cent planchet. That's why the design's being cut off here on the Washington Quarter design, the State Quarter design. This quarter here sold for over $1,600, $1,600. Now here's another Wisconsin State Quarter. However, this one has a die adjustment strike. So we see how the design's all faded out. That's a result of that mint error. And this quarter sold for around $200. And also this picture is a little blurry, but this is all three of those quarters. Again, the extra high, the extra low leaf, and the regular uh, Wisconsin State Quarter. But these are all graded at a mint state 67. Uh, by NGC here. These sold for over $3,400. I don't know if they would sell for that now, but at one point they did sell for over $3,000. So always be on the lookout for those Wisconsin State Quarters.
Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle, check out the videos to the left of me, and until tomorrow, I will see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.